Hey, what's going on guys? It's Modix back with another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about what you guys need to do during the end game of the cycle in order to clutch out some of your games and win those high VP matches. So I know that the word endgame hasn't really been thrown around with the cycle a bunch, but I think that it really suits it well. And this time period is right after cycle spike ends or would have ended because not every single match has a cycle spike. And so this is right around the eight minute mark when you have that little bit of time left right before evac comes and evac is included in this. So it's basically from when cycle spike finishes up until you actually evac the planet. So I'm gonna be giving you guys five tips and tricks in order to just basically do your best during this end game period. So our first tip we have is complete any contracts that you're close to finishing. You wanna try not to evac until there is nothing else you can do. You wanna spend all 20 minutes of the cycle working on getting the max amount of VPs as possible because this will level up your factions as quickly as possible and also just make you a better player giving you more experience for the game. So be sure that you're not leaving like contracts. Like let's say that you need 100 more Velt site. That is so easy to find. Just go find a Velt site, get it done really quickly and then just don't start another one. Go work on another contract that you're closer to completing. Our second tip that we have is upgrade your weapons. So during the end game, it's mostly gonna be a point where you're gonna have a ton of leftover credits. You basically have your loadout now, or you have a ton of contract points that you got credits from that you can basically just go and upgrade your weapons because you want these weapons to be as good as they can get and you can upgrade each weapon two times to make them level three so you want to be sure that you're doing this because it will upgrade their damage stats and their range or even cooldown abilities for abilities so be sure that you're upgrading both your weapons and abilities so our third tip that we have is go for PvP if there's a team that could beat you. While you're clearing evac, teams will try to come and help clear evac so that they can get the VPs too. And if you're close with another team and you think that there's a possibility that they could beat you, I would personally stop clearing evac, go run up behind them and spray them down and kill them. Do not leave them alive to evac because if they get more VPs than you and they evac, you're done for. You lose the game and you want to lose. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. You don't want to lose the game. You want to win each game that you play of the cycle because why are you playing the game just to lose? You want to win. So be sure that no team can beat you is left alive if they are battling for the same contract VPs as you. Another thing that goes along with this is PvP any bounties that are left in the game. Once it gets to the end mark of the game, like the end game, you're going to want to find which contracts you should prioritize. And more often than not, the bounties are going to be the best case scenario because let's say somebody's been killing everyone the whole game. They're probably going to be a four star bounty. So if you are able to kill them, then you're going to get four VPs as quickly as you can because there's not many other contracts you can get four VPs from in a matter of less than a minute than you could do by doing bounties. So be sure that you're PVPing right. And we actually have a video on how to PVP if you guys are new and don't really understand. That's gonna be in the top right hand corner of your screen right now. So be sure to go check that out once the video is over because we still have two more tips left. So this second to last tip is arrive at evac early. You're gonna wanna do this so that you can place turrets and get set up to clear evac. If you clear evac, it's a total of five VPs that you can get and you wanna get all the damage and not let anybody else have the chance to run in and steal some of the damage to the AIs that spawn. You wanna get all five of the VPs so that you can get the highest VP possible. So get to evac early, place your turrets, and you will get all five points because it's really easy to clear. All you have to do is just be prepared to clear. So guys, our last tip is 
if you are playing a duo or squad mode, do not send every single person to evac. I would honestly just send one person if they have turrets because they can get the job done. All of the other teammates need to go work for more contracts. Sure, you can get five VPs from clearing evac and one from escaping, but that one person can take care of all that while somebody else is going to complete more Velta site. Three people all doing a 600 Velta site will get you to another tier and possibly two tiers depending on how much progress you have already made. So if you can, stay out. Hold healing abilities because this way you can try to survive the storm as quickly as possible and you're going to want to do this if you have basically passive contract points like Letium or Uplink. It's not really working for zeals because if you take too much damage, you do drop your zeal, but I guess it could work in some case scenario. And just on the topic of zeals, be sure that you send the red zeal person to evac. Don't have the person staying out of evac carry the red zeal because you want those three points from evacing so that it's four points because that gives you nine points in the matter of, I don't know, I'm going to say a minute because it shouldn't take you guys that long to clear evac and then evac takes a second. You just run over and you jump into a ship. So you are getting so many evac points from literally just sending one person with a red zeal, let them leave, and your teammates need to stay out of the ship and basically foam. Who cares if you die? Only one person has to evac in order to solidify your team's place with points, so you want to be sure to only send one. And guys, if you're in solo mode, don't stay out of the ship because you have to evac in order to get your points solidified. So it's never smart to just die and try to go for more contracts than let's say like you're going for another uplink and you know that it's probably not worth it. Don't do it. Just be sure that you're getting out safely because you can't win the game if you are dead. So guys, end game of the cycle is a point where you can get so many VPs if you play it correctly. If you don't play it correctly, you can end up losing every single game of the cycle because of it. And I hope that by me telling you these five tips, it really has helped you guys understand the end game of the cycle and what you guys should be doing more. And guys, if it did, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe with notifications on because we're posting three times a week and streaming once on every single weekend. And we're gonna try to do it for as long as possible. So guys, if you guys subscribe and like, it really helps us out a ton. Guys, it's going to wrap up today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.